Sembrando la Palabra es un podcast original de Radical.net, subtitulado y doblado al español por Canal Edificando. Si deseas ver este mismo podcast doblado al español, da clic en la parte superior derecha de la pantalla o accede al enlace que está en la descripción del video. Pray the Word with David Platt is a resource from Radical.net. Acts chapter 7, verse 55. But he, Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. What an amazing scene. And we see all over scripture, Jesus pictured as seated at the right hand of God. But here we see him standing at the right hand of God in this moment where Stephen is about to be stoned. He's about to lose his life for being a faithful witness to Christ. Full of the Holy Spirit, just like we saw in Acts chapter six, full of the Holy Spirit. He looks up into heaven and gets this glimpse of the glory of God and Jesus standing there at the right hand of God, his intercessor. I just, I just think about this passage being an illustration of Acts, or Romans chapter 8, when we are taught that Jesus himself is interceding for us at God's right hand. Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It's God who justifies. Who is it that condemns? Christ Jesus, who died more than that, who is raised to life and is at the right hand of God interceding for us. And the verses that follow after that, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? That's exactly what's going on here in Acts 7. Shall trouble, persecution, separate us from the love of Christ? And what does Romans chapter 8 say? No, no. We're, we're considered as sheep to be slaughtered, but in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Because Nothing, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation is able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Oh, Acts chapter 7 is just a perfect illustration of Romans chapter 8 at the end of that, that chapter. Jesus interceding for us, standing at the right hand of God on our behalf when we walk through suffering, when we Experience persecution, even specifically here for, for proclaiming the gospel that, that Jesus is standing on our behalf as our intercessor. So, and, and I, can, I can only imagine just the emboldening effect of that. As, as Stephen says, I see heaven open, the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God, which actually made it a lot worse. They uh, started yelling and cried out with a loud voice and rushed together at him and they start stoning him. But There's a single-minded, resolute focus here that, Jesus, that Stephen's just saying, I am living for him. He's my intercessor. I have nothing to fear, not even death itself. I have nothing to fear when Jesus is my redeemer at, and, and intercessor at the right hand of God. So may, may we live emboldened today by that reality in our lives, that nothing can come against us to separate us from the love of Christ. So let's be bold as witnesses. Let's proclaim the gospel. Let's live with zeal for the glory of God, knowing that we have an intercessor at the right hand of God who ever lives and pleads for us, who stands on our behalf. Let's pray. Oh God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross, to rise from the dead, to ascend to your right hand where right now he is interceding for us. Oh God, I think about uh, just every facet of my life in which I need you and others who are listening to this and every facet of their lives, they need you. Lord, thank you. Jesus, thank you for being at the Father's right hand right now and promising to give us everything we need. So we look to you as our intercessor. We pray for your provision in our lives. Grant us everything we need, wisdom, strength, peace, boldness, Lord, everything we need to live for your glory and to not fear 
anything in this world because nothing can separate us from your love. What glorious truth. Help us to live in it today and help us to live with this kind of single-minded, resolute focus in our lives today. Help us to live with our eyes fixed, our gaze fixed on you, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Esperamos que haya sido de edificación para tu vida. No olvides suscribirte al canal y compartir el contenido para que más personas sean edificadas con la palabra de Dios.